Hi there, I'm Jonathan and welcome to my channel, Jonathan's Diamond Painting and Stuff. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're coming back to me, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here today. So today is going to be an unboxing video and it's a little bit of a special one to me. So as you know, I started off with Diamond Art Club. I really, really, really enjoy Diamond Art Club. Um, and um, they have amazing quality paintings and I always think they're the creme de la creme of diamond painting in the way that they render their paintings and that they all the drills are designed in house and you know how they always keep striving to be better and better and better but I can't just do diamond paint Diamond Art Club alone, I have to look at other brands, you know, just other designs out there and just other people making great Diamond Art uh, stuff. So I've wanted to try Dreamer Designs for a long, long time, but I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about different things about them and like, oh, the grid isn't good enough, it's not clear enough, you know, you can't use a light board, the quality isn't the same, you know, it's all these things and I don't know whether any of these things are true or not. So I wanted to do a proper unboxing, be completely impartial, just put my own, you know, opinion of what how I think um, the quality of the kit is. Um, and I'm not actually unboxing one I bought. This is a, from my good friend Laura, and um, who I met the um, a few, uh, a month or two ago. And she, she said, oh, do you want to unbox one of my Dreamer Designs, Jonathan? And I said, oh, yes, please. And then, so we went for a few different ones that she had. And in the end, we went for this one, which is Coral Reef Island by Will Cormier of artlicensing.com. And um, it is a massive, whopping 120 by 60 centimetre piece. Now, according to my friend, I think she said that they used to do this as a partial and um, there's lots of videos out there for the partial, but I don't think... She said there's not very many unboxing videos to this one, if any at all. So this might be your opportunity to get a good close look at this um, along with me, you know, just to see what you think, you know. But this is 100% coverage now. This isn't a partial. This is a full 100% coverage um square diamond painting I believe I will double check it's the squares here but I'm not sure how they denote whether they're square or round on these I mean there's kind of a squarish shape on here does that go round if it's um, if it's um, round diamonds I am honestly not sure but but yeah so <gasps> here we go so Dreamer Designs, um, this is a um, very similar box to Diamond Art Club. And in fact, actually, I think my friend said she struggled to find this amongst all her Diamond Art Club boxes because they are so similar, aren't they? <laughs> well, anyway, you know, uh, has a lovely telescope logo with like a pe kind of a pencil on the other end of it um, and a moon with some stars. I guess that's where you're dreaming you're dreaming of of better things, of, of far off places, um, you know, the sky's the limit, that sort of thing. Um, but I thought that's quite cool, actually, uh, that logo. But yes, yeah, so um, just have more focus on the dreaming than the words. But yeah, so it says DIY do it yourself premium diamond canvas kit. And it's www.dreamerdesigns.com um, And then on the side it just says Why diamond paint reduces stress and anxiety Improves your focus Helps your fine motor skills Increases your social circle <laughs> Helps to spark creativity I mean that increases your social circle That might sound daft because you're doing this in isolation From anybody But you meet so many people online And in groups and everything I mean I myself I've met so many amazing people through diamond painting and actually I'm, I think I've just coming up to just shy of 160 members in my Facebook group and it's grown so incredibly over the last few um, weeks you know so yeah and I just meet 
my subscribers are amazing and just I've made some really great friends through it so that's no joke you know it's um it's true um and then it just says how it works peel back protective film find symbol on canvas find same symbol on the table find corresponding dmc code ah so they don't um i'm just trying to think because I think Diamond Dark Club number their jewels, don't they? Or do they? I can't remember. My brain is going today. Oh, no, they, they're they this DMC as well. I thought for, for some bizarre reason, my brain just suddenly said, oh, yeah, Diamond Dark Club put the symbol on the bags. But they don't. Of course they don't. I mean, the, the amount of processing involved in that would be insane. Although I guess they could do it because they're all done to order. But I guess it was just the processing of actually, you know... Doing that per kit and everything is just probably too insane, so no. Uh, pick up stylus pen. Uh, place down on the devious ca the de adhesive canvas. And it just says a content see a soft fabric canvas with poured glue. Love a poured glue canvas. <laughs> Pre-sorted diamond pieces. Uh, two stylus pens with multiple head options. Two wax caddies. Diamond tray with separators. Diamond straightener tool. Oh, that's something you don't get with Diamond Dark Club. Black diamond tweezer. I'll see what the tweezers are like, because you know how I like my tweezers. Um, extra Ziploc bags. Reusable toolkit bag. Reusable carry bag. Oh, that's interesting. And instructional guide. And just warning, choking hazard contains small parts. This product is not meant to be ingested. Obviously, keep out of reach of children under eight years. Probably disposable plastic packaging. Rated E for everyone. And then here, there's a lovely scan me redeem 15% off code. So that's quite a generous code for just a one-off code. And I don't know, the Dreamy Designs do have the Facebook group, but because I've never bought one, I'm not part of it. So I don't know what if there's codes in that group like there are in the Diamond Art Club, um, like the Diamond Art Club um, VIP group. Yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty good. Um... So just let's stop procrastinating, Jonathan. Let's get this baby open. Um, I wonder whether I need to zoom you in a little bit, actually, just to so you can see it a bit. There we go. Okay, right. Just getting the skizzers. <clears throat> this is so exciting. And there are some designs I really want to get from Dreamer. And if I'm happy with the quality of this kit, I definitely will be getting them because, I mean, there's a Cinderella Castle one which I thought was right up my street and I really, really loved it. But, um... Just... Just ripping this all up. Obviously, I'm going to be super careful with all of this. But I know my friend wants me to do a proper in-depth unboxing for this so one other thing i thought it was really cool look at this lovely carry handle oh, how cool is that <laughs> makes this extra portable so actually you could easily take it from place to place you know i thought that's really nice touch again unique okay let's have a little look <gasps> oh my goodness me now that is wonderful isn't it? I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful bag that it comes in. You know, so if you do want to transport it and you don't want to get dust on your canvas, um, you don't want it to get messy, or you just want to store it between use, that is lovely. I really like that. I mean, it's not like a really expensive bag, but it's just a nice thought, isn't it? You know, just to... Um, you know, just to have something just to keep your canvas nice. Oh, and this canvas is so soft. You know, so far, good feelings all round. <laughs> right, and look, you've got this lovely soft little um, tool bag. Isn't that cute? With this, with the logo on as well. So a lot of thought has gone into all of this. So let's see what we've got in here oh and we've got a bigger tray than would often come in a kit so and just get all the bits out 
So I like, and it's got some sparkle on the tray. I mean, it's a basic tray, but I like the fact that it's bigger. You know, I like the bigness, the bigness. <laughs> I like the size of that. You know, so that is just a beautiful tray. Now, and only difference is, how does that work? Just trying to understand this end bit. Ah, there you go. That just pops down so you can enter your drills out. Now, I would worry about that overextended use. Because um, you need to do that for every colour. I would worry whether that's strong enough to stand up to the test of time. But it's a wonderful idea. And I do... Um, I love the purple, you know. A lot of people are using purple. I mean, a lot of my business theming is purple. Um, oh, and it's got Dreamy Designs on the back of it. That's beautiful. That's lovely uh, theming. And then we've got... Oh, look at this! We have got proper tweezers with the, um, the wide of it here. I just love these sorts of tweezers. I think they're just amazing. And that comes... And they're quite sharp. I think I'm going to be swapping my tweezers, my current tweezers onto these because I'm onto the tweezers I don't like so much. This, it, I know, is a separator. So you can put this like down the middle of your tray. And then you can just put two different types of drills in. Now, I guess you'd have to empty that, that lot, then take this out and then empty the rest. But yeah, just a cool addition. You've got your squishies and you've got a pen. I think we no, we've got two pens, sorry. Oh, that's a lovely touch. So I think this is a more of more of a fine single placer pen. I've not really seen one of these before. But this is like a plastic tipped single placer. Just trying to get that into focus. Yeah. You see? You see how it's just got that end that's open there. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure, but... And then you just got the classic uh, single placer head there. And then we have got a straightener tool, which these come a lot with a lot of um, multi-placer sets. I don't tend to use these, but I know a lot of people do, and they're quite useful if you like using those. And we have got the multi-placers, but these are a wider profile. And as I love Diamond Dark Club's multi-placers so much, I will just stick with them. But yeah, and I think this is probably a 4 and a 7, because that tends to be what they are. doesn't actually say on them what they are, but I think that's probably most likely what they are. Okay, so put all these bits away. Um, you've got your baggies, similar amount to what Diamond Art Club would give you, and you've got two things of wax. And it's lovely that they're in these um, little... Um, plastic containers just gives it that touch of elegance with the theming on again they've really gone high end uh, high end you know branding on everything which I like just gives it some consistency in class you know that you are buying a premium product and of course you've got the sticky this on I think it's just on one is it on one side or two might just be on one side so the uh, the top side but yeah and that's in both of them Okay, yeah, I am getting excited now. <laughs> right, let me just put these all away. I'm going to keep the tweezers, though. <laughs> I just like my tweezers, and I, for some reason, I lost the ones that came from Diamond Art Studio, my Christmas kit. I was so excited then, so I'm going to keep them and put them in my pencil case straight away because um, I'm so happy to have found them. Okay. Get the canvas open. Oh, this is soft and it's a different type of softness. It's almost like got a fleecy sort of feel 
to the outside of the canvas. I do like that a lot. Okay, let's untie now. Can I just untie the ribbon? Yep, it's just tied up in a neat little bow, which makes me think this has been hand packed at some point. Maybe they've got a machine that can tie the bows, but I don't know. I like to believe that there's some kind of overseen of this. And where are we? We've got some drills. Okay, I promised my friend I would do a decent um, unboxing. So what I'm going to do is similar to what I use, usually do, is I am going to um, go through the highlights of the drills. Well, actually, there's not that many colours in this, actually. So, is there anything that actually lists... Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> I'm just wondering if they had a little... Oh, there is some documentate documents I just don't want to ruin it I'm just gonna open try and get these so similar to Diamond Art Club it has a sticker sheet uh, with all your um, details on I'm guessing this can be round or square because there's a square sticker, a diamond sticker and a round sticker and I love diamond painted sticker. They like their stickers, don't they? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just looking through this um, list now and already see so let's see I'm not sure how the ABs work here ah yeah I see they're down here so we have got one two three four five six it looks like we've got six ABs um, we've got a white a blue a purple a lilac a pale green and a darker green so that's a lovely amount of ABs I will have a look in a minute um, and it's just a quite a varied palette isn't it and let me just pop up the artwork now. So, yeah, I just I think in there's some darker tones, there's some obviously blues, um, yellows, um, some a few oranges, a few very dark greens. Um, but yeah, that's mainly the tones. Okay, shall we just have a let's get these open. Oh, sorry, I've, I'm, this is just another leaflet with instructions. And because this is the first time I've, do, I've done this, I will um, just read this out. It says, thank you for your purchase. Uh, welcome to the Dreamer Designs family. It's time to channel your inner artist and create a dazzling diamond painting. It's a fun and easy re and rewarding way to build your own art. We are de dedicated to creating the highest quality kits combined with legally licensed designs. Now that is really important to me, the legally licensed designs. That's why I love our Diamond Art Club so much and I'm so glad to see Dreamer Designs um, being the same way because I don't like using artwork that um, that, um, does, um, that doesn't respect the licensing, you know. From world-renowned artists, we sincerely hope that you loved your kit and we'd love to see your finished results. It's time for you to melt your stress away and create a masterpiece that's ready to hang on your wall. Have fun and remember to paint with passion. I like that and I like how Dreamer Designs seem to be really pushing the reasons the diamond painting and the stress relief and the anxiety relief, you know, I really do like that and I think that is an important message to get across to people. It's not just a hobby, it is something to bring, your, to, to, to actually treat your, uh, your stress levels and everything. So, right, so, and you got that same code there, the 15% off. Uh, just a few tips and tricks. Close the wax caddy after you finish a session to stop it drying out. Prevent static cleaning with dryer sheets. Yeah, I mean, I've said that before. Um, and use a checkerboard technique. Applying diamonds in a checkerboard pattern will give you straight lines all the time. And that's only single placing, obviously. And use a multi-placer tool. Yeah, okay. Right, so shall we have a little look at these drills? Like I said, I will, I will do a thing over the bottom of the screen um, 
going through all the different colours and everything in detail. But I'm just going to pick out the highlights now. Okay. And so these have been heat sealed. Now, sometimes I think, oh, that means they'll be better quality and less static. But I have had heat sealed bags that have a lot of static in. So I don't think it always affects it. I think it's the environment as well, you know, affects um, these things. But yeah, and I, and I know these are resin drills because I've looked on their website before because that's important. I mean, because acrylic drills are just don't quite have the quality of resin. Okay, so to start with, we have got the ABs, and I think it's really cool how these are all on the same the same strip. Now, I don't know if these are linked to um, the DMC colours or not, but you can see this is like kind of an off-white, um, but um, that's B08, lovely colour that. And then we've got a pale blue 46. Some beautiful purples, which, like I said, I think are very similar to the DAS purple that uh, Diamond Art Studio used. A pale lilac. Uh, pale cream. Sorry, no, that's pale green, actually. And a grassy green there. Okay, and then we just got some flesh, some yellow, some browns, and some blues, and a brown there. And then the next one, I was, I was just saying about, I was just thinking, sorry, about the fact that all of these are numbered, and they're actually corresponding to the numbers on the chart, so you could actually kit these up in order, um, which I think was speed line, so streamline your kitting up process, where, so I'm, I'm actually really in favour of that, that, that looks amazing. So green, green, pale green. I'd say I love this blue. It's very, very sea blue. Beautiful, almost aquamarine. That's five nine seven. That another cream, fuchsia green and cream. Again, we've got some lovely dark orange tones with a very dark fuchsia tone there. So some brick-like tones here. Lovely bright orange nine two two. Dark greens again, and a, just a brown. And then we have got some a very dark, 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 dark blue 939. Uh, very dark um, mauve, like purple. Um, dark brown again. Lovely, lovely bright pink there. Um, kind of some dark greys. And again, some more aquamarine blues, which will be making all that seawater up. Okay. So I'm just going to put these to one side, put away in a minute, af in a minute afterwards, and then I'll just open this one up. Okay, and then I think this is probably the first bag actually. Yeah, because this starts from number one. So again, some browns, some dark blues, some greens, lilacs, and here's the 310. I always like to point out how much 310 a project has, because some people don't like 310. Um, it can be more trash heavy, but any dark drills will be. Um, I think it's just the processing. Darker colours just tend to get more trash um, and bits attached to them. I don't know, it's obviously the the um, resins or the, um, the colours are just less stable. I don't know, to be honest, why, but they just do. <laughs> so anyway, three turns, three bags of three ten. So not terrible, yeah, but yeah. And then a lovely blue, three one two there. And then another two of these blues. Um, here. And then some grey, some more blue, some more dark purples, a lovely more uh, marini blue there, and another pale um, cream, well, dark cream and light orange. Then we have 
more dark blues. Oh, beautiful royal blue there, 820. Um, and the dark, dark blue, 823. Not quite as dark as 939. Um, and some lovely darker blues, darker greens there again, 890, 904, 905. And then a bright green there, 907. Okay, and then we have got, lastly, more marini blues. Pale, pale blue, but bluey green, a, a lovely yellow, like yellowy cream, and coral. Very, very small amounts of that though. Uh, 3828, it's just a pale, like a khaki colour. Then we've got very, very deep red going into brown, 3857. Then we've got pale brown, two bags of that, 3863. And that makes up 60 colours of um, the normal bags and we are going up to 67 so we have 67 colors in total so it's not the smallest amount of colors but no, it's not the largest either <laughs> so yeah so so far i'm really enjoying this one this um this unboxing video and i think i had a little sneak up the canvas when i was taking it apart i think we're gonna be Plus, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised, actually. So I very much want to try Dreamer Designs, and I didn't want the quality to be too poor for me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll this the opposite way. Now, this only works with poured glue canvases. Don't do this with a um, double-sided adhesive because you will damage the canvas. And just, yeah, so rolling it back on itself and it just makes it more likely to lie flat. And all poured blue canvases are self flattening, um, so don't worry too much about it. But if you want to speed up the process, you can put some heavy books on it overnight. Or just hang it up, you know, will help as well. Now, just zoom you out a little bit. Now, would you look at that? <sighs> now, that is a gorgeous canvas. And I just... These symbols are just brilliant. They're just so easy to see. I will put it under a light board in a minute just to make sure. But, but I just love the detail in all these bits, you know. You've got the water, and then you've got that ship here. You can just see the shape of the ship, um, all the greenness of the um, underwater plant life and everything. I think that might be a fish there, um, mother fish. Um, maybe another one here, algae or whatever. Oh, sorry, let me move you across. Let me see and just and just look at that contra that those mold sort of effects going up to make that skyline um melt into the from from that uh, deep reds in all the way into the blues that is amazing i'm just wondering what color that is because we've got a lot of it that's a pentagon uh pentagon 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 it's like a white um, or is it a flower? Oh, it's the flower, sorry. 792 is just another blue. It was just because it was white in the middle. And just look at all this confetti in here. <gasps> now, as a project, this does have quite a nice balance of blocking and confetti. Now, yeah, so you can see down here there's quite a lot of blocking here and just lots of lines in these in these bottom C bits lot of confetti in here with all this build up of colour um, and then one more fish there uh, blocking here in the bits in between and a lot of blocking in the skyline but deeply confetti up here so that is just um, yeah so before I put the light board behind it let's just pick out some ABs and just um, See, I will pan over this at the end though. So, the white AB is 
all in the um, bottom bit of the sea here and it's quite a bit scattered through all the detailing of all the coral reef and everything um, but yeah but so that bottom bit of water the seabed is just going to really shimmer and just the waves up here there's got bits and pieces of the of the white white there and let me just check this bit yeah and as you can see just more of a seabed going up into this section here more of a detailing here where's my just double checking yeah of course you've got this this is a treasure chest not fish sorry <laughs> yeah the treasure chest you can't always tell what things are completely are you can tell you've actually until you've actually done it but yeah and then this this is actually just the sun's the sun and the, the sort of the reflection of the sun into the sea but um okay let's have a look um a46 that's a c i'm just having a look Ah, here we are. Okay, so, okay. so we've just got some seas up here. Just um, some of this coral again, and just scattered here and there. I think. Um, ah, yeah, just up here as well. That might be another fish, I think. But yeah, and then. Um, the move cut the body uh, purple 208 that is um, the minus and that is uh, there's a lot of that actually that is in this bottom section of sky there's loads of it here so that's really going to bring out that detail and then we've got some going down from the top section here and in sections of the I think again this the way it's done it's kind of this cross section of the sea isn't it and so you've got that reflection that that shimmery reflection going down to the top section of the sea that you can see which is going to be beautiful and you just got a, a few bits of mauve scattered 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 through the through the coral um, and then we've got the pale lilac um, which is R <laughs> And yeah, that again scattered throughout the coral, um, and not much, not much else. Um, then E, there wasn't very much of that. Seven seven two. That is um, E um, pale green, and I'm just looking. Ah, yeah, just very few, just scattered here and there. Again, in that coral, I'll have a look on the other side again in a minute, and then we've got Q. Which again, in the green bits of the coral, I just scattered here and there. What is that? Yeah, there's just a bit. It looks almost like an upside down trumpet or something. <laughs> but yeah, just here. Okay, let me just... Oh. There we go. Yeah, so more of those, these corally bits here. Um, I can't really find much more ease. Pale, pale. Ah, oh, there we go. Some down here, um, and then R. Oh, yeah, some more scattered here. Which again, I think are just a bit more coral. Yeah, um, and more of the minuses, the uh, the darker purple in these sections. But I just love the use of colour in this project. I mean, it's just beautiful and such a sizable one, but. I really, really uh, think the yeah, I think Laura will enjoy doing this one. Just gonna get my light board. So I want to double check because I think that's really important to me to be able to use a light board because it just makes me able to see things so much more clearly. I would not work without one, so I, that is a must for me. Go. Let's see if I can zoom you in so you can see as well, but I can see perfectly clearly on that. Well, that's an unusual thing, is it's actually got the ed very edge of the printed design around the whole edge of the canvas. 
Oh, actually, I've not checked the stickiness either, have I? I'm just curious about whether that is sticky. You know, that edge is... It's not sticky, actually, I don't think. But, oh, the, the poured glue is just sticky. And like Diamond Art Club, it says Dreamer Lifetime Warranty. It comes with a lifetime warranty and free missing diamonds protection from Dreamer Designs. I'm guessing it's not free free for, you know, for like an unlimited amount of diamonds like Diamond Art Club is. It is the same, you know, um, there is a limit, but it's very nice and to put that. Okay, so this looks really good actually. I'm just going to... No. So that is the lowest light and that looks amazing. I'm just going to get my gizmo and just zoom you in so you can see a section a bit better. There we go. So you see this just, I think this just looks amazing. And I can see all the symbols, I can see all the grid, even the pale colours I can see. Yeah, I don't have an issue with this at all. I don't know whether that was a rumour or a malicious rumour went round or whether they have improved their canvases um, since um, that that happened, you know, because, I mean, I don't, I don't actually know how old this kit actually is, actually. So, but yeah, this is just, yeah, this is, uh, this is amazing. Loving this. I, you know, I have no problems, issues with the quality of, at all. I'm actually bowled over by how good it is, you know, so I'm very, very keen now to get my Cinderella castle, I think, and I know Sarah wanted me to get one for her, so yeah, watch this space. Okay, so I'm going to pan over it now, okay, I'll probably do it on the desk actually, but um, I'll pan over it and then I will just um, give my closing comments. Okay, see you in a minute. I love this kit. I think the quality is amazing. The only thing I'll have to say is that I've not actually worked on it, you know, so I will have to buy one myself, which I will, I am confident to do now I've seen the quality of this first look. So, um, yeah, I just, uh, I, I will definitely work on one. Oh, oh, yeah, that was the other thing someone said. Someone said about the edges fraying more easily than the Diamond Art Club, but I see there is a line of stitching around the whole, or a line of holes anyway, around the whole edge. So again, that is a thing about working on the canvas. I will have to see, I like to be able to do these things myself, you know, give my own impressions, not rely on rumours, which is why I was so keen to do this video, you know, so I'm so pleased I did because Dreamy Designs is another great big distributor and they may well get the Hannah Lynn contract you know when uh, Hannah Lynn finally leaves Dime Dark Club you know so I'm keen to be able to um, use them you know um, if I can um, 
you know, because they do have a lot of great, great designs on there. So, very, 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 very pleased I did this. Stay tuned for some more. Um, if you like this video, please um, consider giving it the thumbs up. It just helps more people to find my video. And if you like my content in general, please um, consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon and, and clicking all to get all the notifications. If you've got all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay, stay tuned next Friday, um, the... Um, well, Good Friday, um, because me and Sarah are going to be doing a special Easter live and we, there will be some giveaways in that as well. Um, and if you want to stay up to date with all my latest um, details and everything and, um, and, and uh, promotions and products and stuff, uh, please consider joining my Facebook page, which the details are below uh, and it will be on the page in a minute. Um, I have got an eBay store now that has just opened. Um, the details will all be at the beginning and the end of the video and down below as well. My new, my new selection of tramats, which I'll just show a few pictures of now, are all live and I'm releasing the design every week at the moment. I'm really excited because I've got a special one for our Spring Along the Fall event for the DAC Fans UK Facebook group. And um, that, that's coming, and there'll, there'll be a couple of them being given away as prizes for those taking part in the event. And um, I'm also going to be giving away some freebie Easter special ones, uh, which won't be sold anywhere, you know, so they're just purely will only be the prizes. Um, and they will be up for, up for grabs next Friday um, to, two, to two or three lucky winners, depending on how many I make. Okay! So, thanks for watching, and as always, see you again soon! Bye for now!